In this example, I'm showing you a three jaw puller, which is not the best way to do it. It's known for marring the front face of the crankshaft with the cone design and it also tends to pull on the edges of the damper bending and damaging it and having other ill effects of the damper so these tools should not be used to re remove the harmonic balancers from your engine additionally with this style of tool aside from compressing on the damper on the sides part of the action on how this works is it will put more stress on the bolt on the tip of the crank as when you're tightening the bolt trying to pull the damper out it's compressing the damper and in some cases spinning in the face of the crankshaft causing damage um, so I have seen this on engine disassemblies or you know timing belt services from previous shops that use this tool To drive the tool into the crankshaft, you will use a 13 millimeter socket. You do not need to torque the tool down. The tool should thread into the crankshaft just as easy as your OEM bolt came out. If there has been any sort of anti-seize thread locker or things of that nature, um, then it will be a little bit harder, but most of the time, a quarter inch ratchet will do the job. You do not want to force this tool as you can damage the crankshaft. So if you find yourself forcing the tool, make sure your threads are clean. Nissan did drill M6 by 1.0 uh, holes into the factory Nissan harmonic balancer to aid with the insta and the removal. Most of the time these have worked out quite well for us for the removal procedure but every now and then we do find that there is a balancer that has a broken bolt in there. Luckily it's a very soft material. It is very easy to drill and tap a new M6 hole uh, either right over where the bolt snapped or right next to it. It is always recommended to drill outward rather than inward. There is also cases where if the harmonic balancer is very stubborn on the crankshaft you can simply oversize the holes from an, from an m6 by 1 on to an m8 by 125 and that method has never failed us using a 16 millimeter wrench you will hold the center piece of the balancer removal tool from spinning and then using an adjustable crescent wrench, you will simply uh, turn the adapter counterclockwise to pull the damper away from the, from the crankshaft. This method avoids the compressing motion onto the sides of the damper, the pulling motion on the actual shell of the damper, and it also ensures that you are pulling the damper completely straight away from the crank pulley without causing any damage to the tip of the crankshaft or to the harmonic balancer.
As you can see, with the tool fitted properly into the crankshaft, the shoulder of the tool will bottom out on the tip of the crank, safeguarding the front of the crankshaft from any damage, while also ensuring a, a positive contact with the threads inside the crank, protecting it from any galling or any other damage from either the tool, the install, or the removal of the damper. To reinstall the damper, it is very important that you pay close attention to the keyway on top of the crankshaft that it does not come off or slip out of the joint as you can damage other components and your engine by doing so. So be very careful to start off the damper on the tip of the crankshaft making sure that the keyway does not move. Once you do that, you can simply grab the harmonic balancer installer, turn it around into the flat side facing the pulley or the balancer and thread the adapter on by hand. Once the adapter is threaded in and the pulley's flat, you are essentially holding the damper in straight, at which point you can just slowly turn the damper on and it will press the damper on perfectly parallel to the crankshaft, allowing you to know you are not causing any damage to the internal threads of the crankshaft or accidentally pressing in the damper crooked. You do still want to make sure that you start off the damper straight, but once you do that, it is very easy and you know you're not causing any damage to any of your components.